All right, welcome everyone. I am so excited to have everybody on today. Um, we're gonna have a pretty awesomely huge audience because um, this is actually uh, one of the first times we've ever done this um, as far as talking specifically about who we are, what we're all about, what the photography workshop series is all about. And for me, that's something that, you know, we have, it's something that I'm really passionate about. So we're gonna go in depth about what the Photography Workshop series is, um, you know, how we began, um, you know, what we do for photographers and how we're able to essentially uh, give each and every photographer that attends our workshop uh, the greatest possible opportunity to achieve um, their, their absolute potential in photography. So we do everything we can for that. And, um, and that's why, you know, for me, like, this is something that I'm personally very, um, uh, very passionate about just because I have always uh, been striving to help photographers. Um, I feel like this photographic industry, although it can be challenging for many, if it can be navigated properly, you can be very, very successful and you can be a very lucrative, um, you can create a very lucrative photographic business. So um, for me, I, you know, if I can touch, you know, the, the thousands of photographers that I'm able to communicate with and be able to mentor them, able to um, see at our live workshops and also here on our live events, um, to me, it is really spectacular to be able to um, see you guys and uh, to be able to make sure that each and every one of you um, gets your questions answered, uh, because that's going to be important today, making sure that um, uh, we're going to um, you know, answer all of each and every one of your questions as much as we possibly can, whether we can live or if not live, then we will after the broadcast. So um, I know some of you guys that are that are on this webinar uh, have already enrolled and registered like you. I see Ken Sexton. Um, welcome uh, to our group. And, um, and David, uh, welcome. It's been great connecting with you guys and personally uh, doing some mentorship sessions already. Um, and by the way, guys, I, that's something that I love doing. The fact that, um, you know, uh, that you guys can and David and I know a whole bunch more are going to join that, um, that have already enrolled. I'm really excited to be able to work with you personally uh, before the workshop, during the workshop, and then even after the workshop to maximize your potential, to be able to, you know, achieve what you can um, uh, hey, what's up, Ken? What you can, um, uh, you know, achieve like, what you what your potential is, because to me, you know, each and every one of you has a potential that's probably not realized yet. And to me, like, I want to make sure that we can get there. Um, a lot of times photographers sell themselves short. A lot of times photographers are not earning what they deserve. They're not out there achieving what they they want to do. And for me, like, I want to make sure that each and every one of you gets that opportunity. So, um, you know, so before we, uh, you know, begin, I, I just wanted to touch base a little bit about, um, you know, right now, like what's happening right now. And I know I've done a series of webinars about what to do during the whole, um, you know, this whole chaotic time with COVID and all the, the drama that it's, it's um, created, not only personally um, and also medically. And, um, but most, you know, for most of us, it's really affected us uh, professionally. And myself, I mean, I've had huge budget, massive scale commercial productions put on hold uh, that I was going to make a ton of money on, but they're all on hold and we don't know when they're, you know, they're going to be pushed back to. Um, and many of you have had all your shoots canceled or postponed or whatever, you know, whether you're a uh, commercial photographer shooting ad campaigns, whether you're a director filming commercials uh, or television or whether you're a consumer photographer shooting portraiture and weddings. I know a lot of wedding photographers that I've been hanging out with and talking to have been telling me about how, um, you know, they have really uh, had all their brides just like halt everything. Um, you know, we don't know when we can open up for our wedding because we don't know when social gathering can happen. So a lot of their weddings have halted and if they have a deposit down, but they haven't paid for the wedding yet. A lot of these uh, photographers, you know, they're kind of freaking out right now. Um, you know, what to do next. So I want to make sure that you guys don't get too much caught up in the fear. Um, this is, has been a horrendous time for photographers, but like we've done in our prior webinars, 
um, you know, we have all kinds of amazing resources from uh, the PPP that just got relaunched um, for photographers um, or for independent contractors, which uh, um, are allowed to, to apply and it got refunded with another $350 billion. Um, and uh, I actually reapplied and uh, I got like all my applications accepted so far. So I, accept, I kind of think I, you know, applied at like five different banks. And um, even though I'm not a member or business member of them, um, and I'd highly recommend you guys, if you haven't done it already, or you got rejected the last time around or didn't make the cut because all the big businesses took all the money, reapply. You know, also unemployment is now being available for independent contractors here in California um, and in most states around the country. So again, apply for that. It's a significant amount of money um, because we're all suffering a lot of pain from this whole, uh, you know, chaotic time. And I want to make sure that you guys, uh, you know, can, you know, stay afloat. But that being said, we also don't want to become, you know, stuck on entitlements and stuck on, oh, let's just wait around for the government to give us some money. What I want you guys to do, and this is what the photography workshop series is all about, is I want each and every one of you to really focus on what's next. Focus on what your goals are. And as soon as this, you know, we officially begin here in a few minutes, um, I mean, I'm just kind of talking to you guys off the cuff. I just want to make sure that each and every one of you um, is really focused on your end game. And that's why for, uh, for many of you who, who we have spoken to already, um, we do photographic consults. And a bunch of our photographic consultants are going to be joining us today, so you're going to meet them personally. Um, and I want to make sure that uh, <clears throat> you guys build relationships with them because they're there to help you. You know, whether you're speaking to Reza or Chelsea or Ivan or Zach, or any of our other team members, I wanna make sure that you um, have that opportunity to consult about your photography and your business and kind of what's next for 2020 and what's gonna happen in 2021. So, um, I, you know, and those of you guys who are prior attendees, Ashley Russ, uh, by the way, uh, welcome, um, you know, to our webinar. I'm really glad to see you. You've enrolled in a multiple epic workshops uh, over the years. You've done them in um, I know in Dallas, I think you did Chicago, um, maybe uh, LA. Um, you've done them all over the place. So I am really, really glad to see some of you guys that are past attendees. Rami Vermigulo, um, she uh, is going to be one of our panelists today, by the way. Um, so Rami actually just promoted you to panelist. Um, and uh, I can't wait to have you jump on and also talk about um, your experiences. Um, and about, you know, your experiences in the workshop series and maybe how that's benefited you going forward um, now that, you know, you are, uh, you know, working um, as a photographer. And even though right now is COVID, I know you and I talked and you had some really amazing opportunities you were able to book before COVID uh, that um, gave you the opportunity to um, uh, stay strong during COVID and have uh, money coming in either way. Uh, with your with your commercial clients that were paying you uh, on a regular basis, so you're not stuck. So that that to me makes me really happy. Um, so I love to see photographers like Ashley, um, like Rainey, like Dan, who's going to be joining us as well, and and uh, many others uh, that have attended our workshops and have really like you know done something great with their photography. And whether it's even just creating great images, even if you're just doing it for fun and you don't want to be a super successful photographer, you just want to have fun and shoot the greatest images of your lifetime, that's fine too. I'm okay with that. I just want to make sure you guys have the experience to be able to achieve your potential. You know, that's going to be um, important to me. So, um, so guys, uh, welcome. Now, uh, right now, um, it's 11 o'clock uh, Pacific time. So we are going to begin our epic webinar on, this is going to be an extensive experience where we're going to talk specifically about what the photography workshop is, um, where the photography workshop series began, um, why I created it, and how unbelievably successful uh, it's been over the last 11 years because of the success of our photographers, because of the success of those who have attended, those who have actually come and taken these experiences over the last 11 years out of over 120 of these elite photographic workshops. Um, I am incredibly proud about what we've been able to achieve. I am so grateful to each and every photographer that has, has been here. Um, and you, uh, Kenneth Alexander Scott, by the way, uh, welcome to the, um, to the webinar. I know you were a panelist at one of our past ones, but I'm, I'm really happy to see you on and, 
I'm, um, I'd love for you to also take some questions um, if anyone has questions about um, uh, what the experience has, uh, has, has all been about. Um, but uh, you guys, I am here because, you know, my name is Kevin Michael Schmitz and I'm a celebrity fashion advertising photographer. I'm an executive producer and TV director of the TV show Great Escapes. And I've had the opportunity of a lifetime in my photographic career um, that has, you know, spanned many years. But I essentially started out wanting to become a professor of photography. That was my goal. I wanted to be a professor. I wanted to, you know, to speak about photography to others and I wanted to inspire them. So I did my bachelor's and my MFA to be a professor of photography. And, you know, although that was a, it was a good experience, um, I, I got out of the, the game, or I got into the game, I got out of school, um, but I got into the photographic industry in 2008, 2009. And it was 2008 is when I moved to Los Angeles from San Francisco, and I quickly realized like, wow, during the recession, <laughs> this is gonna gut the market, completely crush the photographic industry, just like it's doing right now. Right, so it's kind of interesting to see this, you know, years later, what's happened fast forward. But when I got out into the industry, I saw so many photographers struggling. I saw so many commercial photographers that were regularly making half million dollar shoots on a regular basis, and they had huge crews and staffs and studios, and they were just going bankrupt left and right. And they were dying during 2008, 2009. And I was like, and then on top of that, you know, I wanted to be uh, a professor of photography and shoot commercially. And I went out and, and I tried to, uh, you know, uh, become a professor and in California that a hiring freeze. So everything just completely stopped and no hiring occurred whatsoever uh, for years. I mean, uh, it, it happened, I think like three years, there was a hiring freeze in California for, for faculty, um, for the photography professor positions. So I was like, you know what, not only do they um, you know, uh, you're kind of at the whim of the university and the, the whim of the market and stuff. Um, and you're kind of uh, constrained by what's happening. To me, I wanted to do something great. I wanted to do something that instead of just coming out of photography school, like many of you have done, um, you just come out with a mediocre student portfolio. You know, I get that. You, you walk, you come out of, you know, photography school, you, you know, you went to, say you went to um, college photogra for photography, and you come out with this mediocre student portfolio. I know I did. I mean, although I was proud of my work, and I thought it was pretty damn good when I, you know, when I came out of photography school, doing my bachelor's, my MFA, I was like, you know, when I went into the real world, that stuff doesn't cut it. Student work, you know, mediocre models from San Francisco, or if you guys live in other areas of the, of the country, I know some of you guys are in, you know, rural places in Texas or Iowa or Alabama or, you know, Ohio or anywhere, but outside of the major markets of Los Angeles or New York or Miami or Chicago, if, if you guys are out there and you are, um, you know, in, in an industry where, or in a market where there's not that much of a photographic industry, um, it can be a big challenge. To have, find that top tier, the top tier talent. And even for me, I was producing work as a student when I was in San Francisco, and I produced pretty large scale productions. I had all kinds of lighting equipment, I casted models and everything. But even with top tier models, when I was you know there, um, they still didn't rise to the level of what you could get in Los Angeles or New York if you were a world class top celebrity fashion advertising photographer. So when I started this, I, I, I realized that, you know what, there is a big missing here. There's all these photographers that I meet that are struggling and they come out of photography school and they just don't know what to do. They don't have the business techniques. They don't know how to run a sole proprietorship or an LLC. They don't have access to the world-class top supermodels from Vogue and Vanity Fair and Harper's Bazaar. They don't have access to the top celebrity stylists that are represented by the top agents in the country. They don't have access to massive scale $20 million mansion estates to photograph at because they don't have the budget for it. And the thing is, is we're in an industry where it's kind of chicken or the egg. You either have a body of work with world-class top celebrity talent and world-class top celebrity stylists and massive scale production look and feel that you've shot for like major clients. The clients aren't gonna book you unless you have that kind of work in your book. So it's a catch 22. 
But how do you get that work in your book if you don't have those kind of clients? So what a photographer is going to do? If you're a consumer photographer, like many of you guys are out there, you're portrait photographers, you guys are, uh, you know, some of you shoot, you know, maternity or children or boudoir or you shoot weddings, right? There's tons of you guys out there. In fact, you know, I, I, I'm actually going to um, ask you guys, what type of photography, photographic industry um, are you in? Now, I just launched a poll on the side here. So please answer that question. I'm very curious. Like what type, you know, do you shoot portraits, weddings, commercial lifestyle, corporate, events, fine art and travel, fashion, swim, product photography, food? What, what is it that you shoot? Or are you just a hobbyist, right? So if you're in any of those spaces, I can tell you what, it's not easy in any world. And especially if you want to shoot commercial or if you want to shoot for magazines. If you want to do that kind of stuff at the highest level, Dude, it's not easy. You have to have an A-list body of work. You have to have content that is gonna be completely mind-blowing content. You're gonna need work that is gonna completely knock the socks off of a client. And if you don't have that kind of work, like what you see right here, like even with my kind of work, you know, shooting with supermodels like Valena, who just so happens to be one of the models booked for our virtual photographic workshop experience that we're holding this weekend, this Saturday and Sunday. So if you guys want to tune in and be a part of this, you can be in the privacy of your own home, in self-quarantine, and join us for an intensive, and I don't mean intensive, it's going to be all day Saturday, all day Sunday, and we're going to be doing, we're going to bring in top tier photography reps that represent photographers, like major celebrity fashion photographers that shoot for Vogue and Harper's Bazaar. We're gonna even bring in um, uh, the major photo editors like Rose Cephalou, who's the photo editor for Emmy Magazine and Treats Magazine. And we're gonna be working with this top model, Valena, who's a supermodel from Vogue. And she's unreal, so I'm so excited that, you know, she's gonna be in town and she's gonna be here to be shooting in person, I'm going to be photographing her on location in Hermosa Beach. I'm also, we're also going to be working with supermodel, male supermodel, Darius Dio, who just did the Nike campaign. And we're going to be doing all kinds of lighting demonstrations, posing demonstrations. It's going to be super intensive. And that, uh, you know, that photographic experience is extremely affordable. So for those of you guys who are concerned, um, you know, during this whole COVID affair, um, this is a really easy way. And I know there's a bunch of you guys who are coming this weekend, um, but if any of you guys want to join us that are, that are on this, um, this webinar right now, uh, I'm gonna, we're going to post a link to go ahead and register for it. We're offering a special $200 discount, normally it's $795. So if you guys want to enroll today, we can get you in for um, $595. So if you guys do want to do that, um, let me know. And, uh, and I would love to see you there because um, it's, uh, it's gonna be a really extremely amazing experience. And I'm so excited because it's the first virtual workshop we've ever offered, we've always done in person. And now we're gonna do something different that we can touch people all over the world, no matter where you live. And um, we can do it during this time, which many of you guys are you know, wondering, what's next? What do I do, right? So I wanna give you guys something to do. I'm gonna give you guys something that we're gonna get intense about marketing. We're going to get really involved on the business side. We're going to get involved and we're going to talk about networking with decision makers. Um, and we're going to, you're going to meet major decision makers who actually work with major top brands, advertising agencies, as well as um, magazines, as well as photo editors for magazines. And it's going to be an opportunity for you to connect with them, showcase, have a portfolio review live with them and me. And then also learn some of the strategies that I show with my master retouching methods, as well as um, and how I edit and select images, some of my creative direction uh, techniques, how I put together storyboards and creative briefs, and also how we bid on campaigns, how we maximize budgets to make more profit out of our photo shoots. And to me, that's pretty important. So uh, I'm, I'm really excited. And although we cover a lot of that on day one of our three-day photographic workshop experiences, we're going to be offering a virtual version of that at our virtual workshop experience this Saturday, Sunday. Um, so if you guys want to, uh, achieve, to, to attend that and have that experience, um, let us know because um, we are going to even keep this 
um, you know, actually limited enrollment because I still want to make sure that even if it's virtual, I want to make sure that each and every one of you gets as much personal attention as possible. Um, so if you guys uh, are interested in attending, I'm putting a link right now um, onto the chat and uh, you can go ahead and register with that special $200 discount in the virtual workshop experience. And I know some of you guys are already enrolled. Um, I know um, David and uh, I believe Carl, um, we've got um, uh, Derek and um, we've got a whole bunch of you guys. Gwen, uh, you guys are all coming this weekend. So I'm, I'm super excited about that. Um, oh, and then we've got some other past photographers on here. Mike Wylett, great to see you, buddy. I, uh, I'd love to, to also to bring you on as well I'm, as, a, as a panelist. Some of you guys who are these past photographers, I would love, to, I'd be honored um, you know, to hear some of your experiences as well, um, you know, even just for a brief moment. Um, oh, and Julia Toke, it's a pleasure. It's so good to see you. I, uh, she is an agent uh, that represents photographers. Um, I believe uh, you're based in the Midwest. And Julia, um, that's, that's amazing to have you on. Uh, on this webinar. We've, I know some of the photographers you represent have attended our workshops and have um, really created some epic work. Definitely the best work, in my opinion, that they had ever created. Um, so I'm super, oh, and Christopher Kern. Good to see you, buddy. Um, I, uh, I'm, I'm so glad you're joining us as well. That's fantastic. Um, all right, so uh, I, um, uh, I want to get into what each and every one of our workshop experiences are going to be about. So in addition to these epic virtual workshop experience. Um, you know, I want to talk a little bit about what our workshops are, and then I'm going to have some of our, um, our panelists here answer some questions about their experiences at the workshops. And then I want you guys to meet uh, my team, uh, my photographic consultants that are here um, on, uh, that are live here. We've got Ivan, we've got um, Zach, we've got um, um, Chelsea, um, we've got Reza, um, they're here to answer questions as well, and also set up photographic consults. So um, I am so excited that, uh, that each and every one of you guys um, is, is here on here today, because this is something I want to kind of hash this out. And for many of you guys who, you know, you've been looking at us and watching our workshops for a long time, maybe you've been on our email broadcasts, or you, you know, found us on LinkedIn, or you've been, um, you listen to our webinars. I want to make sure that each and every one of you can, um, you know, we can answer some of your questions about what that workshop experience is about. And if you haven't pulled that trigger and you haven't actually um, come to one of our epic experiences yet, I want to make sure that, you know, we can answer all of your questions uh, so that we can give you that opportunity. So um, I, uh, you know, and also, by the way, guys, I'm going to be um, uh, going to, um, be fielding questions about, you know, some of the most common things as well. Like for instance, um, you know, we have a lot of photographers that have, um, you know, they, they mention things like, you know what, I live in Iowa or Dan, you know, I live in Denver, you know, Dan, Dan, uh, Jan here, who's, who's one of our panelists. I live in Denver and, you know, it's kind of hard because not necessarily the best talent in the world is going to be in Denver, right? And, um, you know, and, and, or, you know, I live in um, South Carolina. Um, you know, I know one of our gentlemen, Lance Andrews, who attends a bunch of our workshops, um, and he was one of our panelists. He lives in South Carolina. There, there are not many strong models in South Carolina or stylists. So I want to make sure that if you guys are needing world-class production, you guys are needing world-class models and stylists, our workshops are designed specifically to give you that opportunity to walk on set and to be able to shoot and command a set. And our, our sets are equivalent of, depending on the workshop, but equivalent of between a $60,000 and $100,000 a day production between the top tier models, the top tier stylists, the locations, um, the equipment that we use, the level of production. And also it's become more and more over the top each year. Like, Every year we do these workshops, we try to better ourselves each and every time. And to me, I love doing that because I want to make sure, even though it's costing us more to be able to produce at this level, I feel like it's going to show off big time to our photographers when, you know, they get to shoot images like this, um, you know, with, with supermodels, uh, with parachutes on location at our Elite Masterclass uh, at um, Reese's Pieces or on location at LA Circus 
um, for our elite masterclass. Some of these epic scenes where we shoot with like Huda Shreta from Harper's Bazaar and these epic designers. Um, or uh, one of our, our directors um, who directs, um, uh, he's a, he, he had gone to like USC film school and right out of that, he came to one of our master classes and he shot this epic content at um, one of our master classes. I mean, it was absolutely incredible. You know, we ended up doing this story for um, Flaunt and creating this massive scale production at the US Olympic Training Facility for Equestrian. So our elite master class, it is our absolute most high end, over the top ridiculous workshop that we do each year. And it just so happens that we're gonna be doing that this October. And this experience, we generally hold it for the photographers that um, uh, we reserve it for photographers that have taken at least one or two main sections workshops first before attending this. And the reason why is because the level of production and the scale of this, it's more for advanced photographers, top tier photographers. You know, ones like Kenneth Alexander Scott and Dan Young, uh, who are on here as panelists right now, Ashley Russ, um, you know, you guys, Justin Price, Michael Wyatt. Um, you guys, it, it's designed, Rami Vermigula, it's designed for photographers just like you, okay? So I wanted to create something really over the top and create something that is a massive scale production and the masterclass just never ceases to fail. Um, and we've been doing that for the last five years and it has been a, just a resounding success. It's sold out every year and our photographers are just in love with it because they're walking away with bodies of work that is just absolutely mind bending. And, um, and when we do that, it causes huge attention from clients and decision makers. And that's what we're going for. We want images with impact. We want images that are award winning. And I want to make sure that, you know, like I, I, I might have mentioned this as some of our prior webinars, but I'm just so proud of guys like Adam Friedman, who won the 2019 Top 10 Fashion Photographer of the Year Award for the One Island Awards from our masterclass. So to give photographers an opportunity to win awards at our workshops, I mean, that's pretty incredible to me. So, um, I, you know, I believe, um, let's see, uh, um, have any of our panelists, by the way, feel free to speak up, which one of you guys has attended our masterclass? Um, Ramey, have you attended it? I, uh, I, I don't recall which, which ones of you guys have attended the, the masterclass before. Um, but uh, those of you guys who are panelists who have attended, I'd love for you guys to speak up um, and feel free to uh, un unmute yourself. But um, I know, uh, Dan, um, you attended um, one of our epic workshops in Dallas, Texas. And, um, and Dan, uh, I would love for you to chat and talk a little bit about your experience at the Dallas workshop uh, that we did a couple of years ago that you attended. And um, by the way, Dan, Dan Yan is an extremely talented photographer and studio owner of Photospace in Denver, Colorado. And um, Dan uh, is, um, I'm, I'm really honored to have you on today. And I know I'm really excited because I'm gonna also see you at the Newport Beach workshop in July. Um, so Dan, why don't you tell me a little bit about your experience um, at Dallas? Sure, uh, am I on, is it working? Yeah, we can hear you. Great. Yeah, so I attended the Dallas workshop. Um, it, was a, it was a great workshop. The models were um, not only just good, good models, I mean, beautiful to photograph, but they were just really easy to work with, uh, which is a, a huge deal on a, on a workshop. Um, you know, things are so fast paced. There's so many different people involved. Um, having models that are committed and just ready to work. Um, also, we had an awesome stylist. Um, I'm blanking on his name right now, but he was just unbelievable showed up with so much stuff um, which for me that's honestly one of the best parts of a workshop is the amount of material that kevin sourced for that workshop um, was mind-blowing i mean we had outfit after outfit after outfit and boxes and boxes and boxes of props um, and we were in a very cool location um, which you know all of those things combined plus a great makeup stylist uh, i mean it just makes the workshop Literally, like Kevin said, you know, sixty thousand, hundred thousand dollars. I mean, I've done these myself. I've run my own workshops. Um, it's a stupid amount of work to prep one of these things, and uh, honestly, a stupid amount of money, which is what made this workshop really, really great. And Kevin had some awesome direction, helped us build some cool stories, um, and I'm really happy with the images I got. Um, I mostly shot fashion, beauty stuff, a lot of studio work, 
um, some on site stuff, but uh, very different than that workshop. You know, most of my on location stuff has been fashion, very heavily posed, um, extreme direction from clients who aren't necessarily the best directors. Um, and in this situation, you know, it was story building, lifestyle, fast paced, um, letting the models smile, letting the models move. Um, and that's what made such a huge difference. Uh, Kevin's pulling up a couple of those images there. The one with the binoculars, the girl next to her. I just love this, Dan. I mean, this is, to me, this is like A-list, you know, this is what some of the top uh, photography reps, like Julia Toke, for instance, you know, who's on this webinar right now, I would, you know, they generally love content like this, Dan. Um, this kind of content, this is like extremely sought after in the photographic industry. Um, nice. because it's like, it's fresh, it's youthful, it's energetic, uh, it's really well propped and styled. And it has that just, just stunning kind of vintage feel, but it doesn't look too posed to me. You know, it's, it's stunning. Well, I think that was the best part about working on a, on a commercial lifestyle kind of shoot like this is, you know, getting away from that extreme fashion posing and letting the models explore their personalities a little bit with some encouragement from Kevin coming from behind. Um, it really kind of opened up a, a sort of a new world of photography to me, which, which is what I wanted. So it worked out perfectly. Um, I, that was a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to doing the Newport one and uh, kind of taking this same concept, but out to a beach. That's going to be a lot of fun. Definitely. Definitely. Well, I'm, I'm really impressed at what you shot, Dan. I mean, you're a super talented photographer already. So you can, everyone can see like how amazing your content was even before the workshop. But like you said, the difference is, is that you're used to the more stoic, more, you know, fashion pose and stuff. And you're, you're an expert at lighting, obviously. But the, 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 what is unique about our workshops, and this is why we started this 11 years ago, it's not just about lighting. It's not just about, you know, how gorgeous your model is, although the, how stunning the model is, is super important. It's also about the feeling. It's about the emotion. It's about the art direction. It's about what you can create. And this is kind of how I see it at our workshops. And Ramey and Kenneth, you guys can attest to this. What I do is I create a scene and I'm going to kind of, I'm going to storyboard it. I'm going to come up with a creative brief. I'm going to come up with inspiration boards. I'm going to have all this prepared and I'm going to come up with this concept and I'm going to art direct this moment. And I've got the lighting. I'm usually using, especially if it's a lifestyle, I'm using giant eight by eight foot scrims and bounces. And I'm going to be um, incorporating a lot of action and movement. I've got fans going. I'm coaching the talent. I've got music hopping. I've got, say, a four model set up, really complicated scene. And I'm going to art direct that scene. And I'm going to create that moment. I'm going to allow it to unfold. And then I'm going to capture it. So it has a serendipitous feel that is so hard to capture. And most photographers, I would say about 95% of the photographers that come to our workshops have no clue how to do this. And I don't care how good they are. I've had photographers that have shot eight covers of Vogue and they come to one of our lifestyle workshops and they don't know what the hell they're doing. They struggle. But the photographers that can gain this edge and be able to shoot this high-end lifestyle work, just like Dan, I mean, it really gives you an edge in the industry. Because this is what the top Fortune 500 companies are looking for. So yeah, the fashion's amazing, but the lifestyle is marketable, super marketable. Now, Ramey, I know I, I would love to hear from you because Ramey Vermigillo, you are um, a, an extremely talented photographer and you li also live in the, the, you're in Parker, Colorado, right? Yeah. So um, Ramey is a really talented photographer and one of the sweetest personalities of any human beings I've ever met. So I am absolutely blessed to have known you. Um, but over the years, I think you came up, it came uh, to us a couple of years ago. Uh, I feel like, you know, you were kind of stuck. Am I, am I right? Like you were a little stuck. I was so stuck. <laughs> I was very stuck. I was stuck in, in the hustle of where am I going to get my next headshot client from? Where am I going to get my next family portrait session client from? And where am I going to get my wedding clients from, which I hate shooting weddings. So I do <laughs> not do that anymore. <laughs> Yay. And now I can say no to the things that I didn't like doing anyway, because I went commercial. So. Excellent. So how did it completely change your life coming to the workshop series? Well, on a number of different levels. Uh, for one, I 
learned about art direction. So I can now guide my clients. I can guide the models. I can guide my clients' models. Um, I can put together storyboards for a client shoot, such as um, spas or restaurants or whatever they want to market to. Um, and then also confidence, a huge amount of confidence. Two years ago, when before I met you, I couldn't bid a job over $600. And now I'm bidding jobs at ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars. Wow. So that's a big change. <laughs> wow. That I didn't expect and I'm thrilled about. So yeah. Rainy, that that's amazing. Um and, and what do you think was the big turning point? Like what when you said that you, you gained confidence and you were doing five hundred dollars, thousand dollar shoots or whatever, now you're doing, you know, tens of thousands of dollar productions. What was the big turning point or what do you feel like was the missing that kind of like bridged the gap to like where, you know, from what the workshops gave you to where you are now? What was missing? Uh, probably uh, open, more open thinking. So, you know, I live in kind of a small town and I was really constrained by what was possible and um, who, what, what kind of client I could go after, who I could work for, who I could bid for, um, my portfolio, uh, what I could show the clients that I wanted to work with versus the clients that I had worked with. So I was able, oh, I love that one. Oh, I love that one too. <laughs> yes, you shot this at the masterclass in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. didn't you? Yep. Yep. So this was actually in Hermosa Beach, which is where we're going to be broadcasting live for our virtual workshop this weekend, um, is this exact spot. So um, that's, yeah, these are gorgeous. And then we also have these mature models, which also is one thing I wanted to bring up. Um, one of the things that's really hot right now, you guys, is uh, obviously medical and pharma, especially with this going on. So there is, you know, if you look at the Fortune 500 companies, there are a lot of pharma and, and insurance companies in the top Fortune 500, even in the top Fortune 50. And they are looking for content like this. Mature talent, happy, healthy, having fun, enjoying life. We shot this at, uh, was this our San Diego workshop? I think that was San Diego. Yeah. Yep. So, which is very similar to what we do in Newport Beach. Also, this is our lifestyle day of the masterclass. So you saw the fashion of the masterclass. We also have that lifestyle section. And this was Dallas. And this was stunning, by the way, absolutely stunning. This was also in Dallas. We shot with hot air balloons. This was San Diego. San Diego. Dallas. And these are epic. I mean, absolutely epic. I'm, I'm just so proud of what you've achieved. And look at the talent we're able to create and shoot. You know, the other thing, the other thing that I um, really have just done a complete turnaround on um, from my work two years ago versus after I've taken a, a couple of these workshops is that my style of shooting. So I, I can shoot, I just shoot in a whole different frame of mind and what I'm able to capture, even now locally, without having Los Angeles talent here in Denver, um, is more magazine style, more high-end, publishable art work. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, I'm just so proud of you, Rami, because I know that, you know, that the big thing was confidence, and I just saw this huge transition. And, and one thing you didn't mention, you told me that you, because you created all this great content at the workshops and you started getting these jobs, you started getting something, a unique opportunity. You were able to get uh, commissioned with a retainer where the clients were paying you monthly and, <laughs> and during COVID, you're still getting paid. Whereas the rest of us are sitting on our hands and we're not getting shoes, but Rainy is getting paid <laughs> clients on retainer because she already has contracts with them. How brilliant is that? I'm so happy about that. That saved me. That saved me. I have, um, I have six, six retainers now with um, restaurants and they pay me every month for a certain, certain amount of photography to make sure that their content stays fresh. And now I've got the confidence to go get more retainers. I've got two more on the line, on the line right now that I'll probably set up for this week and book this week. 
and that gives me they're t set up for 12 months so that gives me stability for 12 months and i don't have to go out two weeks from now and hustle for the next headshot for 200 bucks it's pretty awesome so all of you photographers listening Rainy's idea is brilliant because I hear this all the time. What do I do? You know, photography is so volatile. It's up and down. It's up and down. And Rainy came up with a solution. And she used the images she shot at the workshop and the knowledge she gained on bidding on campaigns and stuff. And her and I have had a lot of conversations about this um, with usage and creative and bidding on jobs and stuff. Um, she's used that to her advantage. And now she's in a much better place in her career and she's more confident. She's making more money now. She's got way better images. Her images are just off the charts. You're a brand, Rainy. You're a brand that's, that's really, really powerful. And I'm, I'm really proud of, of you. And I, and I can't wait, um, you know, to see what comes next. So, um, I'm, I'm stoked about that. Um, and uh, so you guys, um, I, I'd love to also hear from a few others and I also wanna um, have some, some questions asked. Um, so uh, um, first of all, um, I would love for you guys in the Q and A, uh, you see on the bottom of your screen, probably if you guys are all on Zoom, there are, there's a Q and A section. Um, and, uh, and, I, and I want you guys, instead of just fielding the questions in the, um, in the chat, uh, mm -hmm. I want you guys to field them in the Q and A, just to make it very clear so that we can answer each question yep. one by one. Kevin, um, um, yeah, this Gwen is had a question, fun. Gwen had a question for Ramey about, um, and says, how long did it take for you to get to this point, Ramey? Uh, well, am I unmuted? Yeah. So I have been. I've been doing photography professionally for since 2009 and I've been hustling hardcore 24 seven until two years ago. So two years ago, I had a pretty massive shift in uh, both my images, which built my confidence, which allowed me to charge more money and be more successful. So I don't, I don't know if that answers your question. So to, to me, though, what it sounds like is you were kind of floundering for years and years and years, and you didn't really know the direction. This is what a lot of our photographers are like. They That's keep true. doing the same thing, right? Yeah. And they keep doing the same thing, thinking that something's going to change. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, something might change. The economy might collapse, you know, and then it's even worse. <laughs> <laughs> so things do change. You're right. But it's usually not all of a sudden out of the blue. We're not randomly going to get a phone call and shoot a $200,000 campaign or get a retainer client for you know, $20,000 or whatever. It just doesn't happen if you're not putting yourself out there and you haven't done a transition. And, and I'm not just saying for commercial. A lot of you guys are also consumer photographers. Same thing goes with weddings and portraits. You know, if you're shooting $2,000 weddings or $4,000 weddings and you're just kind of doing this daily grind, you know, I know, Rainy, you don't, you don't really like doing weddings. Some photographers love them. Some get photographers hate them. You know, I get it. I completely understand. Um, and, and by the way, um, we, for the first time ever um, in the photography workshop series, we have decided, and we haven't even announced this yet, and it's not even on our website, we are holding our very first photographic workshop on wedding and portrait photography. So if any of you guys are also interested in that, uh, it's going to be happening in San Francisco, Bay Area, and we're going to be shooting an absolutely epic um, wedding and portrait photography high-end workshop where we're going to bring in top tier models that we're going to, uh, to, to stage essentially um, like bride and groom situations and create an absolutely with high-end wedding designers and we're going to create an epic wedding and portrait photography workshop that's going to be a first of its kind um, and we're doing that because we've had a lot of interest I know COVID's crazy and everything but our workshops are all either sold out almost every single one of them is either sold out or we only have like one or two spots left so because of that we, I want to accommodate more people so we're offering new workshops like we just opened up Denver and the Denver workshop in December is already half full we just opened it up two weeks ago um, and uh, and we have and the rest of our workshops are either sold out because we only allow 10 photographers into each workshop um, on each day. So we're very ultra selective about who attends. And I'm very, very careful because I don't want a bad apple. I don't want somebody that's going to, you know, have a problem with other photographers. I want to make sure that we're very careful about who we allow in. So I'm very, very selective of who we bring into the workshop. We don't just allow anyone to enroll. Um, now, uh, these live events are, you know, they're very, very intensive and they're very hands-on and you're going to be personally working with top tier models. You're working with my people. 
You're working with the creative director from L'Oreal, who's my top hairstyles. You're gonna work with my celebrity fashion stylist that style for Vogue. Well, I wanna make sure that, you know, I don't wanna burn that bridge. I wanna make sure that I'm gonna bring in top tier people. So that's why we're highly selective. And that's why we like to set up photographic consults with you guys and our photographic consultants to make sure that we can kind of field you of, you know, okay, do we feel like you are a good fit? You know, like Ramey is an amazing fit. Dan is an amazing fit. Kenneth Alexander Scott on here, who is one of our panelists here. Uh, he's attended multiple workshops over the years. Kenneth is one of the sweetest people that I know. Um, we have Michael Wylett, an amazing photographer. Um, absolutely incredible photographer. And just that he had attended um, a few of our workshops last year and just created just mind bending work in Miami Beach and I think New York. Um, and Justin Price, uh, also super talented photographer. Uh, we have him on here as well. And I'd love to also hear from you, Justin. Um, I know you're, you're an expert with um, doing underwater photography and doing swim and glamor and such. Um, so we have some real deal photographers. This is not for the, the, the you know, the, these workshops are not for somebody that's just like, um, has no clue of photography, especially our master class. These are a bit more serious. Now, if you are a hobbyist, that's okay. We have plenty of those and we can work with you on that. But we generally go for people that, you know, they know a little bit about what they're doing. And then we're here to basically take you under my wing and take you to the highest level. But I have to say something. The photographers that have been shooting for 30 years or 40 years or whatever, and they come to our workshops, some of them struggle to redefine a new brand. Some of them struggle to, to do something fresh and new because they're so used to doing the same darn thing over and over and over again. And for them, sometimes it's a little harder to kind of take that up to the next level and listen to some of the new guidance and strategies. And I know you guys know what I'm talking about that have attended these workshops. So like Kenneth, for instance. Uh, Kenneth, I'd love to hear from you because Kenneth, you've taken multiple workshops, Newport Beach, uh, I think Masterclass, you've done uh, maybe San Diego. I don't know all the workshops, you've done a bunch of them. But Kenneth, did you maybe adjust the way you were shooting? at the workshops? Of course, of course, yeah. So um, before attending your workshop, I was a wedding photographer. And I was a wedding photographer for over 15 years. So Remy, I understand <laughs> your, your hesitation. I got really, you know, wedding, for, wedding photography is pretty much, you know, going through the same thing over and over again, right? Um, so I was looking for a new avenue. Um, and, you know, luck, you know, has it that Ivan called me and kind of looked over my portfolio and, um, he told me I'd be a great candidate to attend one of your workshops. And um, I think I've attended close to maybe four or five workshops. And I'm, I want to be going to Newport uh, Beach uh, this coming July. So I'm really excited. And um, when I took the first workshop, it was a total transformation because I really didn't know anything about commercial photography. photography. And to be able to, to talk to Kevin, his team, and kind of seeing firsthand how a set is, is built and how it's developed um, and, how, and how to work with models and uh, work with um, wardrobe and uh, lighting and, and just, just a whole team. And um, I, was, I was totally amazed. I was totally amazed. And being able to you know, produce the work that I did in those workshops, probably the best images I've ever created, um, in all honesty. Um, I really, really, really ha and had fun about it and I learned. And then that gave me the confidence to go to folks, you know, to go to Fortune 500 companies and uh, being able to talk to them, you know, in an incredible and convincing manner that um, enabled me to, 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 um, to get some, some really good clients. And I landed a really great client about a year ago and it was, um, it was pretty amazing how much they paid me for my photography. So I was very happy. I was very happy. Yeah, I mean, Kenneth, it you, you worth it. It's worth it. <laughs> Kenneth, you had mentioned that, you know, based upon the images and what you learned at the workshop, it helped you uh, land a $200,000 opportunity. That's true. That was true. Uh, there was a couple other things that were involved in that. But at the end of the day, it was my photography because they looked at my, my portfolio um, and they realized that, um, you know, I was, a, you know, I knew what I was doing and I could execute. And it was uh, over two hundred thousand dollars. Wow. Um, so yeah, and I couldn't have done it no way with just the you know just with the wedding experience uh, because it's the business side of it, 
and there's the photography side of it and, and, and also building a team and building the right team, right? So um, I knew how to do that and that was based on your workshops. That's amazing. That's, that's amazing. I love it. Um, yeah. Well, uh, you know, Kenneth, I feel like, you know, you're, you have one of those great personalities that also helps, you know, seal the deal. But the imagery at the end of the day is what the, what's, what the clients are buying. The, the imagery is what they're buying. They want to know that you can tell that story, that you can um, completely, uh, you know, essentially create a, a concept, art direct it, storyboard it, and execute a, a story. And to me, your images have a lot of story in them, Kenneth. And that's what makes them unique. That's what makes them really spectacular. I mean, this image right here that you shot in Miami Beach, absolutely stunning. So much story, so much feeling and emotion. And it's fun. I get like a sense of fun when I look at your pictures. And to me, that's magical, man. That's why, that's why you're, you know, sought after now, Kenneth. And you are a talented photographer. I mean, you, you have an incredible wedding photography. I mean, you're a really talented photographer. But... You know, it, it, it seems to me, Kenneth, like even if you were still to shoot weddings, that this kind of work would also add to your body of work to, to convince clients to hire you on higher tier projects for weddings and portraits. And I get a lot of photographers that do that. They take our workshops because maybe they're a wedding photographer, but they want to take it up a notch and they want to have world-class lifestyle imagery like this that just gets them excited. Right. No, I, I, I totally agree. Totally agree. I mean, it was, um, it was definitely a, um, a, a new beginning for me when I took your workshops. That's, that's awesome. Um, I, I'm so, so happy about that, um, Kenneth. Now, I, I'd love to hear, I'd love to answer a few questions now. Um, so uh, here, I'm gonna, um, I've got uh, um, Carl Brooks. Now, he says, how similar is a workshop shoot compared to a client shoot? Um, so th this, is a, this is a really good question. I mean, I, uh, um, and, and you know what, um, you know, Rami, this might be a good one for you to answer. <laughs> I do a lot of commercial shoots. Um, but from my perspective on this, uh, you know, I shoot large scale commercial campaigns all the time. And to me, I try to model my $175,000 commercial advertising client campaigns like for Pepsi. I try to model that sense of production at a workshop. And to be honest, they're almost interchangeable. The only difference is, is that instead of just me shooting, you've got other photographers shooting, but each photographer is commanding a set and shooting and no one else is shooting. You know, I mean, there might be some people taken behind the scenes, or standing off to the side. But when you're commanding the set, that's your set. It's your scene. And we create, and, and what's beautiful about that is that it's not like we're, you know, people are tripping over themselves to try to like, you know, big clusterfuck of shooting, which happens at a lot of other of our competitor workshops, where it's just like absolute chaos. That's not how this is. We are very careful about how we art direct it and how we direct it. And we want to make sure that you're commanding the set. Just like you're shooting that $125,000. I want you to have that opportunity to be able to, to just massively shoot that massive campaign and art direct it. And also, um, you know, we bring in top tier models just like I'd have on a major campaign. You know, and the only difference is, is you don't have an art director there, a, a client who's breathing down your neck and giving you all kinds of stress. The difference is, is that it's a lot easier. It's a lot more relaxed because you're in a space to learn and grow. There's no pressure. You can do whatever you want. And that's what's beautiful about it. And you can create a scene and a situation that's passionate to you. And that's what I love. So th that's essentially the difference between, uh, the, the only difference I would say between a big client shoot and our workshops is you don't have an art director and you don't have the pressure and stress. Everything else is exactly like it. I bring in high-end catering. You guys know what I'm talking about. I bring in really good food um, at these workshops, um, especially uh, um, this one coming up in Newport Beach, for instance. Um, I, I have like the best caterer, the, the most incredible chef, bring in just delectable food um, to, to meet any of your dietary needs. Um, and we have a, a whole staff of production crew. I usually have like four full-time assistants mm -hmm that are waiting on you hand and foot 
doing all of the production gear, setting up all the lights, the scrims, the C stands, setting up everything, getting everything ready to go. And, um, and that way you don't have to mess around. You don't have to like deal with all the production gear if you don't want to, if you want to, you can, but you can have, just like you're commanding a huge set and you're directing the show, you've got that whole crew to do it for you. Wardrobe stylist, prop stylist, hairstyles, fashion styles, uh, styling assistants, top tier models. And depending on which workshop, we have anywhere between three and six models at each shoot day. So that means you're gonna have an entire different cast usually on each shoot day. So the level of talent and the level of content you're gonna create is just mind blowing. <clears throat> All right, let's answer another question. You have uh, Chitown Tahani says, um, can you leverage without having associate photographers? So um, Chitown, I'd like you to elaborate on what that means. If you don't mind, if you can respond to that. Can you leverage without having associate photographers? Um, I would say that I, I think what you mean is, um, you know, can, do you need additional photographers like working with you or underneath you? Um, I don't. I don't. I do large scale productions and I don't need associate photographers uh, beneath me or working with me. Um, however, what I do like to do is I like to collaborate. I am a big collaborator, you guys. I like to make sure that I work with other production companies and I like to work with other photographers because I feel like when we're all in it together, um, it, everybody wins. Instead of seeing other photographers and directors as competition. I want you guys to see them as allies to me. That's much, that much, much challenge. better. And I'm going to show you a little video about um, essentially, you know, the kind of content that, you know, when I, um, when I shoot like a major um, uh, commercial, I have some amazing associate production companies. Like I'm the West Coast arm of uh, Indigo Productions. And, um, I, and, and the reel that I'm gonna show you happens to be uh, our commercial reel. This is uh, for Indigo Productions. S about two thirds of this entire reel is filmed by f us at our workshops. And the rest of it is celebrity content from broadcast commercials, uh, my television show, Great Escapes, that I'm the host, director, and producer of, as well as um, content filmed at like digital commercials. But about two thirds of this is from our workshops. New York workshop, uh, Los Angeles, Newport Beach, San Diego, Miami Beach. Uh, we have a huge amount of content in here from the workshops themselves. Specifically the lifestyle and the fashion work. Um, we have like, uh, is it really, really heavy from what we film at our workshops. And that to me is, I'm really proud of that because it actually made the cut like this way above a lot of the content that we shot for clients because the content is so high end. These are all workshops, epic content. And the cool thing is that our workshops, for instance, in Newport beach or in Chicago, for instance, Chicago is completely sold out. Um, Miami beach is completely sold out, but Newport, uh, in that workshop, for instance, um, we have, we have the ability to film with 8k red, uh, red heliums, and you're gonna be filming a world-class production in addition to photographing. So the content you're gonna create at the end of the day, this is all yours, you own this. This is gonna be something that you can market and use as your own reel because you're a part of the production and you're gonna be directing scenes. So you're gonna have access to all this footage after the fact and I think that's amazing. And a lot of our photographers and directors have incorporated that uh, into, their, um, into their brands. And I highly recommend you do that. That's a big change between some of the things we used to do a few years back with the workshop series and what we do now. Right now, it's really intensive on video. Um, and we're gonna show you, and we're gonna do this also this weekend at the, um, uh, at the, the uh, virtual workshop experience. And, um, uh, and by the way, here, I'm gonna send this in, um, uh, I'm gonna send this to um, uh, all, of, all of you guys. If you want to enroll in the virtual workshop experience and work with supermodel Valena and top male supermodel Darius Dio um, virtually and have learn all kinds of my posing strategies, my secret strategies to art direct and to create these epic moments, you can go ahead and enroll right there on the virtual workshop experience um, in, the, uh, in the chat. You can click there and enroll. It's only $5.95, it's super cheap. We just wanted to give you guys an opportunity to do something while we're all under self-quarantine and we can't shoot. So it's that epic moment. 
Um, but we're going to be also showing you at that virtual workshop as well as our three-day experiences like in Chicago in June, July in Newport Beach, September in New York, um, and October the masterclass, November in Miami and December in, in um, Denver. We're going to be showing you how to shoot and how to film not only photographically but also with gimbals, uh, with, um, uh, with, with uh, rails and sliders, and, and also with aerial drones. We're going to have aerial drones at all of our workshops. We're going to have at our Miami Beach workshop, we're going to be shooting with underwater camera equipment with a high-end uh, Ike Light dome that your 5D Mark IV can go inside. Um, and we're going to be giving you opportunity to learn how to film with your digital SLR, whether you have a Nikon or a Sony or a, or a um, Canon. Whatever you have, we're going to show you how to do that, and you're going to be filming with your DSLR. And um, at some of the workshops, like a Newport Beach one and the Masterclass, we're going to be working with my A-list television production team, which you just saw in that video, um, and you're going to be working personally with them with high-end 8K red helium cameras, which is amazing, too, if you want to learn how to do that. So it, really incredible opportunity, and I definitely recommend, um, if you guys are interested in you know, coming um, you know, to these experiences, make sure to also, uh, you know, check out um, uh, here, and I'm also sending you the link here to um, go to photographyworkshopseries.com and you can enroll in any of the upcoming workshops that have space available. So um, kind of like I mentioned before, um, Chicago is completely sold out, but I want to tell you guys about it anyway. At each Chicago workshop, we're shooting a high-end fashion editorial story. Um, this year, we're doing a Mad Men story. And if you can see the content, I mean, some of this epic stuff, like this one in the red car, this was from our Chicago workshop two years ago. Um, vintage epic vehicles. We're going to have this same 1960s Cobra convertible um, at the next Chicago workshop. It's going to be mind-blowing. Um, and we're going to be shooting a massive scale fashion production and a lifestyle section. And we're going to also bring in top tier panelists on day one, where we're going to have top photography agents, um, such as um, Friend and Johnson. Simone Friend was the owner of Friend and Johnson. In the past, we've had, um, uh, we've had um, the owner of 10 Management, which is one of the top photography reps and um, modeling agencies in, um, uh, in the um, uh, Chicago area. So for me, I cannot wait. Uh, you know, for, for this workshop experience to happen because this one is a really spectacular experience. And that's why it's sold out every single year. Like absolutely every single year it's sold out. So it's, it's super popular. Um, this one's only $58.90 to do all three days in Chicago. Um, like I said, it is sold out. However, if you guys want to get on a wait list, feel free to uh, and register. All of our workshops are fully transferable to future workshops. And um, that's something that is fantastic. It's usually a $200 transfer fee if you do have to waive or do have to transfer. But we are offering uh, an opportunity for those of you guys who are attending this webinar to waive all transfer fees uh, because of all this craziness going on. So if you do enroll in, say, Chicago or an upcoming workshop and anything changed in your life, it's all fully transferable to any future workshop. And we've had photographers that enrolled in workshops three, four years ago and never came. And we stay in touch with them. We want to make sure you have that experience. We're not, we're not interested in just enrolling you, you know, you know, you put some money down and we just hang on to that. If you don't show up, that's not how we work. I could care less about hanging on to that. I want to make sure that you guys have the experience of a lifetime and are going to create the greatest images of your career at the workshops. That hey, is Kevin, real quick. Um, Gwen had a question, kind of what you just talked about. Um, I'll read it out. Uh, once you take one of these workshops, where do you go from there? Is there a direction after the workshop to hit the ground running to basically make the money back you're paying for the workshop? It, it kind of goes in line with what you just said. So I thought that would be a good time to answer. That's an amazing question. Um, so, hey, Ramey, would you want to answer this one? I would love to hear your perspective on this. Oh, hold on. You're, you're muted. There you go. Okay, now we can hear you. Okay, um, what's the question again? Where do you go next? Yeah, what do we do after was, the workshops? What do you do yeah. after the workshops? Is there direction after the workshops to hit the ground running so you can make up the money you paid for the workshops, basically? Well, nothing is, um, nothing is easy when you're trying to grow a business, right? So the next, the next day after you get done with a workshop, you don't get 100 new photo shoots. It doesn't work like that. But 
for me, um, the reason I did the workshop um, is to take my business to the next level and get unstuck. And I was clear that that was going to be the thing that I could get unstuck by. And I needed help to get unstuck. And it was apparent that I needed help. So after the work workshops, um, I've taken two or three. Um, I was able to think differently. I was able to get drill down into a niche. I was able to start saying no to clients that I didn't want. And I was able to start bidding on higher paying jobs. So, and, and that's, you know, it takes a little bit of time to get, uh, to get that rolling, but that's my answer. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. I was launched. The truth is I was launched into a new realm of thinking about what it is for me to be a photographer and a full-time successful, confident photographer. And I was launched into that new realm two years ago. That's what, that's what happened for me. Excellent. I love to hear that. And, and you know what, Rami, um, I, I, you mentioned something that's really important. It does take some work guys. It's not like immediately you shoot the greatest images of your life at the workshops and then the next day you're booking the $200,000 campaign. It takes some effort. But what I can guarantee you without a shadow of a doubt is that if you attend any of our workshops, the virtual workshop, the three-day workshop, and you're creating, for instance, at our three-day workshops, the greatest images of your lifetime, and you learn the business side, the marketing side, the networking side, and you listen to our guidance from our panelists, our expert panelists who are photography agents, creative directors at ad agencies and myself, and you follow along with what our suggestions are, I guarantee you, you will make more money. I guarantee you without a shadow of a doubt, if you follow what we say and you create these images at those workshops, you literally will, without a shadow of a doubt, will make more money. It's like, it's just the, the challenge a lot of photographers have is they don't want to do the work. They just, they just don't. You know, they're just, they want to take pictures and they, they don't want to learn the business side. They don't want to learn the marketing side. But I tell you what, that's everything. You know, I would love to take pictures all day, but you know what, to me, that's just, I mean, that's like playtime. That's not work. When I get to go and photograph, that's just play. It, it's not even, it's not even work for me. It's like, a, it's, it's easy. It's, it's joy time. But the marketing side, the business side, that's where we're going to show you the details. And that's my expertise. I send out about 1.5 million emails a month. I have a full-time marketing director on LinkedIn who messages tens of thousands of photographers on LinkedIn to communicate um, to, uh, to people, as well as creative directors at ad agencies, specifically production companies, to land major commercial productions. I've actually had a lot of success through marketing through production companies and um, to uh, ad agencies on LinkedIn. But there's all kinds of amazing, amazing things that we can, we can learn. So... Um, I, I definitely think that uh, that that's that's essentially what's next after that workshop. So um, I uh, I would love to hear from Michael Wylett. Michael Wylett, um, I know you're on here, and uh, Michael, uh, you're in uh, um, on the East Coast. Um, uh, I would love for you to talk about your experience. Like, say uh, you came to the Miami Beach workshop, right? With um, work with those top supermodels in Miami. I would love for you to tell us about your experience there. There, Michael. Hello. Oh, he's connecting to audio. All right, there's a little bit of an audio issue on his front. You can work that out. Uh, all right. Well, anyway, um, let's. Uh, and then also, um, Justin Price. So you were in Miami Beach as well. I don't know if you can um, uh, I, like answer that question too. You worked with some really incredible models with us in Miami, and I would love to hear uh, about your experience working with like Natalia. Uh, I think you work with that, um, you know, the, the, you work with some of those top tier models at that one, or at least you did the lifestyle section. Um, t talk to us about that, Justin. Yeah, working with all the models was, was great. They all knew what they were doing. They were all professional. They, they knew their angles, their posing, everything like that. So they were all a joy to, you know, very little direction was needed to, to give to them for to get the perfect shot. Excellent, excellent. Did you have a, f a favorite scene that you liked to photograph during that workshop or favorite experience? Uh I think I liked uh, when we were doing the surfboard with the Jeep the best. Got it. Yeah, that was a really cool scene. That was yeah, on the yeah, lifestyle exactly. thing. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, that was epic. 
Um, and, uh, and I understand, you know, I know you were an amazing underwater photographer too. So you got to do some cool underwater stuff as well, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. I did it with, uh, I shot some stuff with Haley and we got some great images and a couple of the other models too. Amazing. So that, that was a lot of fun. I like doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and who he's referring to is Haley Maxfield, who was on the cover of Playboy that month. Uh, we also worked <laughs> with, uh, Miss Brazil, uh, Natalia. Uh, who just absolutely world-class top model. Um, and the Miami Beach Workshop, again, this is another one that's sold out every single year. It's always sold out for the last 11 years. And um, this one was no exception. It was a really incredible experience. And, um, and if you guys take a look, this is essentially uh, a video we did during that workshop, the same one that Justin attended and uh, Michael Wyatt attended this one. Um, incredible experience um, and this was all shot you know by our team here and all of you guys have access to this video um, and, and in fact uh, Justin I'd recommend if you if you haven't been using this yet please uh, take the video content from me and use it to market yourself because this I is, didn't yeah. even know about the video actually yeah, absolutely absolutely because this content is key man you show this to your clients they will fall in love with you um because video is hot right now that's what a lot of a lot of clients want it's not just photography they want you to add value by also having video i agree yeah so um yeah so this this was one that these guys uh attended and um in miami beach this year is going to be just completely mind bending over the top uh, with the top tier models and locations. We're usually at a ultra luxury resort in, um, in Miami. And uh, we also uh, are shooting um, uh, with, this last one we, were, we happened to be at a mansion in Key Largo that was also uh, pretty spectacular itself. Um, but uh, I would love for you guys to, um, you know, kind of pick out not just which workshops uh, are the most interesting, like, I guess not only like what kind of photography you love to do, but which workshops get you the most excited. You know what I mean? Because I want to know like, okay, like maybe you did one in LA, maybe you did one in Miami, you know, what's, what's the next for you? Where's, where are you going to go from here? And for me, like, I want to make sure that you're creating a brand where it shows that you're national. You're not just a local photographer. You're a total brand in your photography. That's absolutely key. So um, anyway, so I want you guys to, you know, think about that and think about what's next um, in your photography. So um, I would love for uh, um, to, want to, to pass this over to one of my team members. Uh, Chelsea, if you want to jump on, um, I would love for you to talk about kind of like what you do as a photographic consultant with our photographers. Are you there, Chelsea? Yeah. Hey. Excellent. And here, let me let me mute myself here. Hey. So I'm I'm Chelsea Frank. Um, I'm I've been with the the company for you know a few weeks now. Um, I've been in the fashion industry for actually quite some time. Uh, 10 years to be exact. Um, so what I do is um, I come with you. I'm here for you guys, you know, before the workshops, during the workshops, and after the workshops. So I'm here to really kind of get on your on your butts and really push you to do the best that you can. Um, see what images that really fit with your your needs. What what fits with your style understand your style, understand everything that you want to do with your career, whether it be video, whether it be fashion, lifestyle, uh, commercial. Um, and I'm here to be with Kevin to storyboard with you. I'm here to just really get to know you and get to the bottom of what's holding you back and what, what put, pushes you forward. And I'm here to consult with you through the entire experience. Um, I will be attending, uh, a lot of the workshops, I would say most of them, uh, to really just get to know you guys, get to know you folks, and and just be there with you every step of the way. And Chelsea, what, what is kind of the most common thing that you talk about with your photographers, or the most common thing that they ask you about? Um, I would say that, you know, how, I would say how they want to make more uh, money, um, how they want to grow their portfolio. Um, so I would say that is the most common thing. So I take that information, I write everything down that you guys tell me, um, and I assess the information to 
uh, really get into the, the, the deepness of what you guys are doing. So I would say it's, it's definitely the money um, and how to grow your brand, how to uh, really, really build your portfolio. Excellent, excellent. Okay, cool. Uh, I'd love to also hear from a few other people uh, that are on here. Um, and uh, we have uh, um, uh, Zach, I'd love for you to, uh, you know, I, I, I don't know if you can, if you're connected on audio here. Uh, but Zach is also one of our photographic consultants. And I want to, he also works with a lot of photographers and kind of like coaching them as far as what's next in their photographic business. So um, Zach, what, what do you like to talk with photographers about? Hey everyone, I'm Zach. Um, hopefully you can hear me. Yes. We can. Okay, great. Yeah, I love to talk to people about, for one, what is their vision? You know, I feel like a lot of people, when they enter the industry, they have their own vision and dreams about what they want to do with their work. And then it oftentimes transcends into simply wedding photography, which is not necessarily bad. Maybe someone that is their dream but a lot of times it gets lost. So I love to talk to people about what their vision and dreams and goals are and how we can work with them to get them there in a way that's profitable for them. You know, that's life. You know, we spend so much of our time working in life. Why not work towards something that fits our vision and our dreams and saying a story through our work that can be a piece of us that we leave on this earth, you know, a legacy. So it's great to talk to people about you know, their goals, their ambitions, their vision, and how we can connect that on the business side to get them to be more profitable. Yes, definitely. Oh, that's a, that's fantastic, man. You, you're, uh, you, you sound amazing. Um, I mean, we have a, a, some incredible people on our team, guys, and I want to make sure that each and every one of you, um, if you want also a, uh, to set up a photographic consult, um, we are offering free photographic consults during this whole COVID thing. Um, with our photographic consultants to specifically go over uh, your photographic direction and goals. And I know many of you that are on here have done this with us before, um, but for me, I think it's really, really important that we can um, uh, get to the bottom of like what your hopes and dreams are photographically, and then, okay, uh, what's next? What's missing? What's holding you back? And we can help get you there because we coach photographers all the time. Um, I'm sending a link here uh, to set up a Calendly appointment um, through Calendly.com. There's a link in the chat. Please go ahead and click that and set up a consult. We are setting up free photographic consults with our photographic consultants. Um, and I would really love for you guys to get on. Um, ideally, um, tomorrow would be a good time um, that we have some availability. And um, we could go over your images and your goals and your photography and kind of what's next. So um, please go ahead and do that. And we will um, get you on with one of our team members, uh, Reza, Zach, Chelsea, uh, Ivan. Ivan, I would love to hear from you because a lot of you, you've spoken to a lot of these photographers. You've worked with many of them. You've enrolled a lot of these photographers over the years. Um, Ivan, um, I, I would love, Ivan has been with me guys for about seven years. Ivan is, is a, a, just an absolute incredible powerhouse of a guy. Um, I've worked with him for a long time. I trust Ivan with my life. He's, he's an amazing person. He's talked to just literally thousands upon thousands of photographers that he's worked with and mentored. And um, I, Ivan, I'd love for you to, you know, maybe introduce yourself and then also talk about, um, you know, what are some of the great success stories you've seen with the photographers you've worked with and how are they able to get there? And, and by the way, you're, you're on mute right now, Ivan. So uh, if you want to uh, oh. fix your audio, there you go. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Yeah, guys. No, I've, I've been with Kevin for, for a really long time now, probably about seven years. And um, I've worked with a lot of photographers throughout the years. I mean, I think I've probably enrolled, you know, several hundred. Um, in fact, some of the panelists we've had on have actually been, you know, my photographers, you know, that I've consulted with, like Kenneth Scott. And, um, and it's always been an amazing feeling to see how, you know, the majority of my photographers have always taken it to the next level. <laughs> and, um, and then I think it's always like really important to, you know, make sure that you hold, you know, or that we hold our photographers accountable, you know, to, you know, to their futures, you know, we're all in control of our own destinies and it's up to us to, to not only develop the tools, you know, things that are tangible that will, you know, elevate our brands and, and just our business and overall confidence and knowledge, but it's also to make sure that we take action afterwards and, and implement everything correctly so we can see those results you know, and as soon as possible. Um, 
And um, and luckily, I think ninety five, at least ninety five percent of all of my photographers have done that. You know, very few, you know, kind of slack off afterwards. You know, they fall off the wagon, and and it's really tough to keep up with them and keep them, you know, interacting with us. But um, but but the majority that do, and you know, they keep working on their photographic currency. They take action. They put up, you know, they develop a new websites or uh, promotional material, etc. And they actually call, you know, the clients. Um, you know, it's uh, it's a really fulfilling to to see people that have done that. And uh, like for example, I, I personally worked with Adam Friedman. You know, for the past two years, uh, he's probably one of like one of my favorite success stories. And um, you know, he's getting published all over the place. You know, he got uh, he got top ten in the One Island Fashion Award. You know, his masterclass images. Um, he's redeveloped his whole website, his whole brand, his whole way of thinking. And um, and he continually, you know, stays in contact with us, with Kevin. You know, and tells us what's going on, who's who he's marketing to, who he's pitching. You know, he asked for advice to put together proposals, you know, to maximize his profits, et cetera. And, um, and it's been really, really working out for him. Um, I'm also proud of Kenneth, too. You know, I, I started working with Kevin, or with Kenneth Alexander Scott probably a couple of years ago now. And um, he's definitely, like, his confidence, like, has gone, like, skyrocketed since the workshop. Uh, I remember he told me before when he first started, you know, he's not the most confident person, not only photographically, but also on the business side of things. Like knowing how to, you know, approach decision makers, you know, what to tell them, what to show them. You know, those are a lot of things that, you know, unfortunately, you don't learn at any, anywhere. You know, you can't just go to a workshop, shoot the best images of your life, and then, you know, good luck with that. You know, see how that goes. It's, um, it's a continuing process, you know, to, to be successful. And uh, that all really depends on our photographers. That's like me personally. I make sure that I consult in depth with anyone that I potentially enroll. You know, I just don't like people enrolling out of the blue and then, you know, just jump it on board like that. Like it's important for me to to see, you know, first of all that they're talented, they have the right ambition and, and their dedication. And um and I need to make sure that they're serious about taking action afterwards. You know what I mean? It's not like going to Disney World and having fun and then going home and not doing anything with that. Um to me I know that's not that's not really gonna be successful. You know, so and um and obviously it's a it's a series. You know, that's why you know we have photographers that continuously come to the workshops just for the purpose of having the opportunity and the access to, to develop their photographic currency to that level. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, that's your, that's your entire brand, your portfolio, right? You know, if, if you're not going to be charging 15, 20, $25,000 a wedding, you know, just having an average book with average people. Like, I don't care how good you are at the business or how good of a photographer you are. And obviously you're not going to be stepping in. Uh, you're not really going to be turning heads in the commercial world either. Cause they, they, the first thing that they look at is your, your portfolio. They want to see that you're a consistent top end advertising lifestyle or fashion editorial photographer. And, um, and they, they're confident that if they pay you all this money, you're going to make magic happen. Like you know how to direct, you know how to produce, you know how to storyboard, like you know how to do everything. And, um, and that's going to be really important. And what I think the, the best thing that offers the workshops offers too is, uh, is building up people's confidence also. Like a lot of people, when we start with them, and especially our consumer photographers, like they don't really think they have the potential to, to take it to the next level with their weddings or their portraits, you know, to charge 15, 20, 30,000 dollars for a destination wedding, let alone having the opportunity or, or being capable of getting into the commercial world. So our job is just to nip, nip that in the butt, you know what I mean? And anyone that has that right mindset is more than welcome to work with me or, or you know, one of our other top consultants. Um, and if not, then maybe it's not a good fit, you know, no biggie, you know, it's not a big deal. <laughs> Well, Ivan, you've been incredible and you have, have helped, you know, literally hundreds and hundreds of photographers take it to the next level. And I'm so, so impressed yeah. with that. Um, and you hit on some really, really important points. We do have it set up as a photography workshop series because we mm -hmm. want to make sure that you guys enroll uh, in not just one. Um, we have it designed that way because you know what? I just looked at our 2019 enrollments. We had a 95% re-enrollment rate. I mean that 95 out of 100 photographers take more than uh, one workshop. That they end up taking workshop after workshop after workshop. And I know, I know Kenneth, um, Michael Wylett, um, uh, uh, Rainey, Justin, you guys, have, Dan, you guys have all attended multiple workshops. Um, and to me, that's, that, that's a testament to it. It's like once you come to one, it's like you just get hooked and you got to come to more because now we created that new cornerstone of work that is essentially 
you know, you just saw Kenneth Alexander Scott portfolio. Literally, it's like the entire website is pretty much our workshops. And it's like, so once you create that content, that now becomes your showpiece. Now we got to add to it. Now we got to add to it. So those of you guys who have already enrolled in a workshop and are going to enroll in more, that, that's the beauty of it is that we can add to it and we can freshen it up. So uh, I, I, I want to um, get to Reza because Reza is uh, another one of my amazing photographic consultants. And um, Reza here, um, he is uh, uh, worked with Brooks Institute. So he actually worked at Brooks Institute, which if you guys are familiar, it's you know, one of the top tier photographic uh, universities in the world in Santa Barbara, California. And uh, Reza is a genius and expert with talking to photographers and helping them realize their, their goals and dreams. So Reza, um, t talk with me about kind of what, um, you know, um, what you do with photographers and kind of like what you see uh, the workshops, <clears throat> you know, that you feel are going to benefit them most. Well, you know, I think everything at Chelsea, Zach, and um, I even said, I don't want to repeat myself, but you know, the bottom line, I mean, life is about bottom lines. There really isn't anything out there as far as workshops go. You know, when I got introduced to you about six months ago, um, and I saw what the value that you, you know, that it is in a three-day workshop, um, and I haven't talked about it, you know, if someone wants to have a shoot like this, a photographer, to have this top-end models and $100,000 worth of equipment, the location, the cars, the wardrobe, I mean, an average photographer can't do that. And so, and, and we have photographers at all different levels. Many of them are just doing okay. But kind of like what Rainey said, they just they kind of go to a forest and there's three different paths and they don't know which way to go. So I think, you know, what I love is helping somebody uh, to go to the next level and connecting with them and motivating them and kind of being like in the corner, you know, when they come back into the corner, you're the water guy, you're the towel guy, you, you keep them going, you know, um, and that's what it's all about. And, you know, the, also working with you, the excitement of sharing ideas, you know, the webinars, coming up with the, you know, different locations. Um, you know, we, we really enjoy talking to you guys. And for those of you who have signed up, you know, you, your, your, your photography is going to take off. So we got some great questions. One of them from Nora, Kevin, I wanted to see, which came up, I thought was awesome. Um, and he said, hey, if it doesn't answer, oh, here, what would you say to your lifestyle workshops uh, would benefit a landscape photographer or other types of photography work? Uh, we do get that question a lot because it's not only about lifestyle or fashion. We have, Kevin, all types of photographers who attended our workshops and how they have it helped benefit their, um, their business. So maybe answer about that one, you know? I would love to. And by the way, the great Nora Connors, um, I, I hope uh, you are still on Nora, but um, she is a, um, uh, she was actually a client of mine. Um, I, uh, she hired me on a regular basis to shoot a massive scale like advertising oh, campaign nice. for San Manuel Casino. Uh, and I worked with her on, I think, three, four years in a row shooting some big campaigns uh, with her. And, and it was really spectacular. We actually were shooting, funny enough, swimwear. We would shoot swimsuit uh, shoot inside the casino. And um, it was, um, but it was amazing. We shot with like the Anaheim Ducks, um, like Ice Girls. And um, we did like a whole swim calendar for them uh, over and over again for year after year. And it was a, you know, it was a nice budget uh, production that we regularly did. So I worked with Nora. Now, um, the beautiful thing about, uh, about what Nora asked is what do we do if we are more of a landscape photographer, a fine art photographer? Well, you know, that's a wonderful question. And the wonderful thing about uh, that what, what, she, what we do offer is we offer nine day travel expedition experiences. Now, we are adjusting the schedule to obviously because of the whole COVID thing, we're adjusting the schedule to be um, uh, happening in, um, uh, in 2021 as opposed to 2020. Uh, but uh, we are going to have um, an epic experience to Bali uh, and Lombok. In fact, I have been filming a whole series of my uh, high-end um, uh, photo landscape photography webinar series that's going to come out uh, this year as, um, as an experience. It's going to be like a 30-hour intensive webinar um, uh, tutorial that you can, uh, down you can pay for and download. Um, that we are going to be offering that's in editing now, but um, we're going to be doing this epic content in places like Bali, uh, in Lombok. We're going to Tanzania uh, and Uganda to photograph in the Serengeti. Uh, we're going to be doing Morocco um, and uh, Santorini and Mykonos. So um, we're working with on the ground photographers, such as this, this one right here, um, uh, who is like an expert in the Indonesia um, uh, world. 
these are his images. He's like a, a top tier art director and photographer. That's one of our guides, as well as myself, uh, who I, I photographed and filmed extensively in Bali um, uh, just in the last six months. Um, and, uh, and I'm going to show you the best of the best spots to be able to capture this incredible content. Um, so if you are interested, Nora or anyone else, in doing landscape photography, uh, we are offering that as an opportunity um, the, at our nine-day travel experiences. Now, they are a bigger investment. They range between 10,000 uh, 10, to 15,000 um, to register for one of those nine-day travel expeditions. But the difference is between what they are and what the Photography Workshop Series is, uh, or I'm sorry, between what they are and what the other um, uh, travel expeditions are like, um, the National Geographic Photographic Expeditions, for instance, are not typically led by National Geographic photographers. Ours our, our, our workshop expeditions are led by a National Geographic photographer, as well as um, myself, the host and director of the TV show Great Escapes, um, that airs on um, uh, NBC and, um, uh, and also um, on the CW. So I am gonna be there to work with you personally, and we're gonna have also a filming component and aerial drones. So all our workshops are gonna have the opportunity to film uh, from aerial, do underwater, and do on the ground. So it's a really, really exceptional experience. And, um, and you can see um, here, uh, in my experience, the whole travel landscape uh, experience. This is actually a clip from um, uh, our, um, this is all footage from Great Escapes. And essentially this is what uh, some of my new shows are gonna be uh, appearing as. So we're also gonna have some ultra luxury destinations in um, 2021, uh, going to uh, places such as the Maldives, Bora Bora, Seychelles, and some of the most incredible experiences. And that's in the higher tier market. Um, but, uh, but those are gonna be some um, really intensive, massive scale productions, very similar to this, to give you that experience. So um, if you are interested in travel or landscape photography, we have a solution for you as well. Absolutely. All right, so uh, let's get to a few more questions before we go. Um, I, uh, let's see here. Um, I would love to go next. That was a great one for Nora. Um, uh, Paul Robinson asks, do you ever come to the Boston area? Uh, great question. Um, Paul, we actually have quite a few photographers from uh, Boston that take our workshops, including Mary Peacock, who's been a panelist on um, one of our webinars, actually. Um, but uh, no, we don't go to Boston um, we, because it's fairly close to New York, and we want to be in the markets where uh, there's the best production experiences. So um, generally, our workshops are targeted around um, the major production areas where there's access to top tier stylists, top tier models, top tier production. Um, and some of those cities, even though Boston's a big city, doesn't really have that uh, a huge host of top tier stylists and models up in Boston. So I recommend, Paul, uh, you attend the New York workshop if you want something local. Um, the New York fashion photography workshop, I think would be an absolutely epic experience for you. Um, and that's a three-day intensive experience um, in New York. We're going to be shooting in Brooklyn as well as at um, an epic estate in the Long Island area. So um, that one um, uh, would be, I think, a really incredible one for you, uh, for somebody on the East Coast. So, um, all right. And uh, let's see. I think those were, looks like we answered most in the Q&A. Um, I know we had some, a few questions here um, on the... Um, on the chat, if you guys have any further questions, please enter them in the Q&A so we can, um, we can go into it. Uh, let's see, and um, uh, let's see. Um, okay, this is a good one that, I mean, it, it, the list answered because Ramey had answered it, and this is a great question from Hadi Alavi. Uh, many photographers um, are leaving the business because clients do not want to pay the way they did three to four years ago. Um, what do you say to that? Uh, you know what? I, I, I agree with Ramey. She says, Ramey says, that's not true at all. I'm making four times more money than I was four years ago. And I've higher paying clients now more than ever before. So the difference is, is Ramey took our workshops and she catapulted her body of work. And now she is literally crushing it, making four times more money than she was four years ago. So, uh, so that, what that tells me is that it, it wasn't four years ago. Um, people where clients were paying more. That's not true. 
uh, not true at all. And, and not true for me either. I mean, I, I would say um, there's actually more need now than ever before, uh, not only photographic, but also video. Uh, there's constant need for content. And I think that um, we just need to be there at the forefront. So maybe, Hadi, um, your clients, maybe we should help you work with some of the marketing side and get the better clients. They're going to book you on larger scale jobs because maybe the clients you're working with um, started to phase out. Um, but um, but it, they are out there and the money is out there. Um, but uh, but that that is a great uh, question. Um, uh, okay, so... Okay, uh, another one is um, uh, Hadi Alavi was asking about um, the schedule of the workshops. So um, absolutely, we have a whole series of workshops um, throughout the year, and we schedule them um, very, very specifically. Now, obviously, this year it, it, it changed a little bit um, with, uh, with the whole COVID thing, but, um, but generally our workshops are um, scheduled during the right seasons of each year and also during the right moments. So for instance, uh, you know, um, we're gonna be doing the New York workshop following Fashion Week and it's not until September. So New York will be wide open and back rocking again and it's gonna be following New York Fashion Week. And regardless of anything happens with Fashion Week, um, we're gonna be doing our epic workshop because with our workshops, they're all at private locations. So we can do exactly anything we want to do. They're not out in public locations. We rent massive scale mansion estates, castles, epic private locations uh, that are essentially untouchable. Um, if, uh, if we have, you know, so we're not going to have ever have any problems. In fact, by the way, um, you know, if you want to see what we're going to be doing, this was our location at the New York workshop last year. Um, and our gentleman, Adam Friedman, who attended this workshop, um, shot some aerial drone. Um, at this castle designed to be identical to King Henry VIII's palace from the 1500s. And we shot with top models from Versace, from Vogue, and Harper's Bazaar at this workshop. So it was pretty spectacular. Um, and uh, these locations are all very, very private. This is on like a, you know, couple hundred acre private estate. So um, it's, it's going to be, um, so when we do these workshops, we have um, absolute control over everything. Um, of them. So um, anyway, so I'm, I'm super excited for you guys. Uh, if you have any last questions, feel, uh, feel free to ask them the Q&A and then also set up a, um, in the, if you guys look towards the chat, you can see um, there's a, um, okay, we a have two more questions just came up. Uh, oh, last go, go ahead. Yep. There were two on, uh, RF says, wondering um, though whether clients will pay as much post COVID. Um, so just wants to know if, what are your thoughts are about if clients are paying during this COVID crisis as much? Yeah, well, you know what? Um, that's something that uh, I don't think is gonna change much. They still have budgets and it depends on which clients you're talking about. Maybe consumer clients are gonna be, you know, pinching pennies, I don't know. Um, but when it comes to commercial clients, that's just, there's the budgets are the budgets, there's the cost. Uh, also, you guys gotta think of it this way. If you're dealing with an advertising agency, the advertising agency, it's not in their best interest to go for the smaller budget. It's not because the, it's not the ad agency's money, it's the client's money. And the ad agency tax on 30% on top of it. So if it's a $100,000 shoot, they're going to tack on another 30% or so uh, to as padding that they're going to take to find you as the photographer. And they're going to make the majority of their money off of the media buy. And they're going to be um, not looking to go for the budget cheap photographer. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't actually benefit the ad agency who's the decision maker. So just remember that that's not in the best interest of them to spend less money because the client that, that's hiring you uh, isn't the one who's paying the money. That makes sense if you're doing commercial photography. Now, when it comes to consumer, things might change. I don't know, but um, I, I, I don't foresee it being a big change. Um, you know, I foresee maybe in the next couple of weeks, clients are gonna be pinching pennies, but as soon as everything opens up again, you're looking at a month, two months down the road, I think it's going to go right back to normal. In fact, I think that there's going to be a huge buildup and a huge need for photo shoots. There's, you know, clients and brands and magazines are dying for it. Right now, magazines are hungry for it. I've been being contacted out of the blue by a bunch of magazines. In fact, Photo Nostrum magazine is going to be running a feature editorial about the photography workshop series. And it's going to be featuring like seven photographers that have attended our workshops in this editorial because they're desperate for content. So a lot of these um, uh, magazines are desperate for content. Now is a time to get published. Now is a time to get out there and to build relationships with people. Uh, Rez, do we have any other additional questions? Yeah, Brian Farley says, can you tell us more about building storyboards 
Do we build physical storyboards that we take home? Do we show those to potential clients? Great question. Uh, so um, we are going to build uh, storyboards essentially off of, and it depends on which ones he's talking about. So it's some of our workshops, and in, in, I know some of our panelists have experienced this in the past, and some of our workshops will bring in professional storyboard artists. So it depends on the workshop. Um, and we'll actually have a storyboard artist sit down and physically storyboard out the story that you're going to tell uh, during the shoot. So sometimes we actually have physical storyboard artists, depending on the workshop you're attending. Um, or we're going to be developing creative briefs. Um, yeah, and he's we're going, to get he's really going to Newport, in, by the way. Right. So yeah, in Newport, um, it, it's going to be more heavy on the creative brief side. And we're also going to have a shooting component on day one. So we're going to be shooting. And by the way, for those of you guys who've attended workshops before with us, something that's new that we're doing um, this year is all of our workshops in 2020 are going to have a shooting component on day one as well. Um, all of our three-day workshops are going to have shooting on day one during the essentials day. So we're going to be, you're going to be shooting on day one, two, and three of the workshops. So um, instead of doing, um, like, so for instance, a Newport Beach workshop is going to be, we're going to do the shooting um, more so than the storyboarding on day one, as well as um, we're going to be doing creative briefs. Um, so essentially inspiration boards. And we're going to be doing this really, really heavy at the virtual workshop this weekend. So Brian, I don't know if you're attending the virtual workshop, but that's something that we're going to get going right away um, at the virtual workshop experience. We're going to get really intensive uh, about um, storyboarding um, with creative briefs and storyboard artists and stuff this Saturday, um, just FYI. So in two days time, uh, that's going to be a big component of the photography um, virtual workshop experience. So um, if you guys have not enrolled in that one already, um, it's super inexpensive with, it, with the, it's normally 795, we're given a $200 discount. Um, if you enroll um, uh, now as part of this, and you can um, go ahead and register and um, and take a spot in that that two day experience. And we're and like I said, we're going to be working with supermodel Valena, um, who's been um, uh, in like uh, she's been in Vogue, Harper's Bazaar, um, Vanity Fair. I mean, she's a top top tier model. Um, and uh, we're also been working with supermodel male supermodel Darius Dio who's been in like Audi campaigns. He's been in, um, uh, he's been in, on the, um, uh, in GQ. He's been in um, uh, the latest, the 2019 Nike campaign. Um, and, um, but, and then this model, Valena. So it's gonna be mind blowing. It's gonna be an incredible experience, very inexpensive, and it's gonna be very intensive. It's gonna be all day Saturday, all day Sunday. And the best thing is, is if you already have plans and you guys are booked or busy, it's all set so they can be rebroadcast. So it'll all be recorded and you guys can actually watch it and rebroadcast if you have to skip an hour or two or even a day. Um, it'll all be available for those who attend um, and rebroadcast. So if you guys do want to attend, um, click on that link in the chat and you guys can go ahead and register for the virtual workshop experience. Um, so we will do live shooting on day two and we're going to be doing it on location in Hermosa Beach. Um, broadcast live and um, photographing with Valena and um, Darius with all kinds of with beauty dishes, um, seven inch reflectors. We're going to be showing you pro photo demos, um, how to light certain ways. We're going to have all different types of lighting techniques um, that I'm going to walk you through using all different kinds of modifiers as well as gels, neutral density filters. Um, and we're going to show you um, how to maximize a lighting scene and kind of like diagram out and create that epic, that epic moment. So any, any last questions, Rez? I think, I think we're good. Excellent. All right, guys. Well, it's been a pleasure. And thank you so much for each and every one of you that has um, uh, attended this um, live webinar. I'm, I'm really, really glad that you guys an, asked some fantastic questions. Hopefully, we were able to answer everything on here, as I want to make sure you guys have everything. If you have any uh, further questions or you want to set up a, uh, an intensive photographic workshop uh, consult and strategy session with one of our team, with Chelsea, with Rez, um, with Ivan, um, with uh, Zach, we can set up a, um, a consult um, as well with you guys and we can go over some of your strategy for 2020 and 2021. We wanna make sure that you're ready so you don't have to get ready when everything opens up and that everything is going full bore for your career. So um, thank you guys. I'm so excited for what we have coming up in 2020 and in 2021. And um, make sure to enroll in these workshops now because literally they are either all sold out or almost sold out. And if you are interested in one that's sold out, you can at least get on the waiting list um, for Chicago or Miami, for instance. So um, keep us posted. Um, hey, Kev, real quick, 
Yeah, yeah go one ahead. thing I would say is you had mentioned the one in the Bay Area. Um, maybe let people know if they they are interested in the wedding um, workshop to send us an email uh, because I know a lot of people are going to inquire so we can start a list because that's something that you and me talked about and I think you know up in the Bay Area you know close to the uh, wine country so um, just kind of put it out there if anybody's listening you're really keen on that uh, let us know ASAP so we can uh, we can start reserving a spot for you. Perfect. And, and also because we're scheduling that and we have to work around people's schedules. So we're going to be, um, uh, if you are interested, we can, we could potentially work it around your schedule as well. So we're going to be, uh, we had, we've had a lot of interest in this in the past and this is the first time ever that we're offering a, an epic workshop on um, wedding and portrait photography. So if you guys are interested in that, that's going to be something that's going to be really, really unique because um, most of our workshops are either on fashion, they're on lifestyle, um, they're on swim. Those are the, the, the three main, and then we have our travel expeditions. But this is going to offer a new opportunity for portrait and wedding photographers as well. And, and it'll include how to maximize profitability, how to maximize your um, uh, client list, how to get, obtain those high-end clients, and um, how to kind of take your photographic business to the next level and create world-class content for your portrait and wedding clients that showcase that you're the kind of wedding photographer that can demand a $15,000 wedding, no problem. So uh, if that is something you guys are interested in. So um, this has been amazing. Thank you guys so much for attending. I really appreciate it. Those of you guys um, who have, um, are, are interested in any of our three-day experiences, um, we are all also offering a special package deal. Um, so if you guys are already enrolled in a workshop or you are, want to enroll in a three-day workshop and you want to enroll in a few, we are offering some really substantial discounts if you guys enroll in like two to three workshops uh, together. So um, uh, contact us if you guys are interested in doing that, um, in addition to the, the, image, the workshops you've already attended. Um, and uh, we, can, we can put something together for you guys. We want to help you out. And we love working with our past photographers because obviously we've got a 95% re-enrollment rate. So we must be doing something right. So all right, guys, you take care. It's been amazing. And um, I, I cannot wait to see those of you guys this weekend because we've got a lot of stuff to go over this Saturday, Sunday. And uh, those of you who are enrolled in a virtual workshop and are not enrolled in a three-day workshop, um, uh, definitely contact us right away to save your spot in the three-day workshops because they literally are almost completely gone and we will hook you up with an amazing deal. So um, take care, guys. And um, I look forward to talking and working with each and every one of you.